This is Prince Magnum and his wife, Princess Feyru, and a little guy that you briefly seen in a in one in one of my last videos that's been posted. This is my good buddy Taver. Uh, he's the family pet. Check that out. Check that out. Now, some of you who are dog lovers keep saying, "Well, you can't teach cats tricks. You can teach dog trick and dogs tricks." You got to see this to believe it. Okay, honey, you wanna go ahead? Straighten the chair a little bit, though. All right, Tabor, come on. Down. Good boy. All right, you ready? I know you are. Up. Okay. Sit. Good boy. There you go, folks. A cat that learned tricks. I guess uh, I guess you can train yeah, a cat. We're working on another trick. He's not, he doesn't quite understand it yet, but we're going to try and do it. Can you beg? I don't know if I want to call it beg, actually. Hmm. Cats don't beg. Can you dance? There you almost come on. There you go, good boy. Close enough. Tabor is an amazing little kitty. I'm gonna see if I can actually hold on. There you go, kitty. If you look on his side there, you see the shape of a heart. Now most places or most uh, families actually will Photoshop that into their cats. He actually has it on himself. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but we're, you know, well, if you see it, that's wonderful. I, I hope you do see it. Um, now, Tabor, uh, he's a rescue. Uh, I say that because he's, uh, uh, he was a stray. Mm -hmm. And um, he followed my adopted daughter home while she was walking from uh, Dollar General. Was it Dollar General? Yeah, it was Dollar General. And, uh, um, and totally, uh, he, you know, she, she, uh, she's like, I, uh, you know, she told me that, you know, she said, Daddy, I got you a kitten. And, uh, you know, he's just become a, a great, important part of our family. He's pretty, too. I've never actually seen a cat with, with uh, solid white and then tiger stripes in his gray splotches. Yeah, he's, he's it just a, and uh, some of you might be wondering, um, might be wondering, uh, you know, how did Taver get his name? Well, I'll just tell you that. Taver got his name uh, because uh, I'm a big fan, big fan of reading books by Mercedes Lackey. Uh, some of you out there might know who Mercedes Lackey is. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Mercedes Lackey is a great, great, you know, if you've never read any of her stuff, if you like to read, definitely pick up her Velgarth novels. Uh, um, and uh, reading the Velgarth novels, um, she taught. Uh, she writes about a, a group of people that kind of like the police force. Uh, you know, they're uh, they're you know they're judges, and you know just uh, you know they they serve the they serve the kingdom, uh, the heralds of Valdemar, and the heralds of Valdemar become uh, heralds by uh, by two ways. Well, uh, having two things: one, a special gift. <clears throat> and they have to be chosen by a horse-like being called a companion, which has the intelligence of a human being. Now, they don't uh, talk like a human, but they use, uh, use a telepathy called mind speech and talk to their chosen. Um, and one in particular type of companion isn't born like a regular companion, the grove-born companion. And they just come, they just basically show up. And because Taver here just kind of showed up. I named him after uh, a Groveborn companion from the particular Herald, Heralds of Valdemar part of uh, the book, uh, from the books The Last Herald Mage. Um, and at that time, the Groveborn companion was Taver. And uh, since, you know, Taver just showed up, and uh, this Taver just kind of showed up, you know. So that's how he got his name. And, uh, of course, we all just absolutely love him. He's a very loving, loving friend of the family. Um, you know, so uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, seeing a little, you know, our furry addition to our family. Uh, he's absolutely just a fantastic, fantastic friend. We just love him to death. Uh, so with that being said, uh, honey, you got anything you want to say? Um, I wish I didn't spay my cat dragon now because uh, I'd love to breed the two together see what we get. 
<laughs> it definitely be. Uh, he's actually not neutered yet, um, and he will not be declawed. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what this apartment complex says. Okay, he will not be declawed. That is horrible. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. So he will go throughout life with his claws. And so uh, yay, happy kitty. Yeah. Favor, you want to say anything, buddy? <laughs> He's camera shy, I guess. That's okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. With that being said, if nobody's told you that they love you, Prince Magnum does. God bless you, and have a happy 24. Thank you. <laughs>